watching Discovery Channel. That has got to be the fanciest looking garbage can I've ever seen. What is that for? Basically, it's a smart garbage can. And what it does is identify any packaging that you dispose of so that the product could be replenished. Huh. Okay, so say we're at a hospital. Uh, show me how this would work. Okay. Can you run through an example? Here's a good example. Mm -hmm. I've got a very expensive item here. It's a defibrillator. It's got an RFID tag on the item, so it identifies the item. Okay. Once it's received, it's read to identify in the system that that product is now on inventory, whether it's an operating room or ward. Once the item has been used, okay, we'll remove the item, and then the package has been disposed of, and automatically the system knows that that product needs to be replenished. So the garbage can knows that that item's been used and it'll tell you, ah, you got to get one more defibrillator because you used one up? Exactly. Wow. Now that's fancy. <laughs> what do we have here, Dina, is a, we're going to call it a smart garbage bin. A smart garbage bin. Yeah, so if we are in a hospital, for example, where replenishment timing is very important, and in an operating room, you're using a product, the same thing. It'll have a radio tag built onto it, and as soon as the product has been used or consumed, the packaging is dropped into the garbage bin, and automatically, the supply chain is in the process, and the product is replenished automatically. And it doesn't have to be... In a, in a hospital, it could be anywhere where you've got your dispose of items. So in an office space, let's say, where you're constantly, you know, pens, you're always running out of pens, it mm -hmm. would be able to detect that so many went in there, so it's time right. to order new stock. Exactly. And how much would something like this cost, do we know? You're, you're looking at uh, probably a few thousand to implement it. Really? Mm -hmm. So we're looking again another five to ten years? In a hospital, we're seeing it now. Right now? Right now. Well done. Bringing the future to us here on BT. Exciting stuff. Bob Mraz, president of RFID Canada. Now, of course, you're, hel you're holding a conference taking mm -hmm. place May 8th and 9th. For more info on that, can anybody attend? Yes. Okay. RFIDCanada.com. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dina. Cool time travel we just had. Over to Jennifer at Live Eye, who's traveling with her own little feet this morning. Hey.